math enthusiast. Welcome back to Math with Ihan. In case you were wondering, I am Ihan and this is Math with me. This week's word problem will be on average speed and the distance. Last week, Michael traveled from Chicago to Cleveland and back. His average speed from Chicago to Cleveland was 80 miles per hour. On the way back from Cleveland to Chicago, Michael drove slower and traveled at 60 miles per hour. So the question is, what is Michael's average speed for the entire trip? Here is the answer to the question. You'll probably think the answer is 70 miles per hour. Wrong. The actual average is, is as follows. From Chicago to Cleveland, Michael actually traveled with 80 miles per hour, right? And then, let's call this distance between two cities as D. On the way back, what he did was, he traveled with 60 miles per hour. He traveled slower. Now, if we call the time elapsed, the first time traveled as T1 going forward and T2 as traveling backward, T1 and T2, T2 will be different numbers. And as we already know, speed is equal to distance divided by the time. For the first case, I can set the equation as 80 miles per hour is going to be equal to distance traveled divided by T1. And for his travel back to Chicago, since he traveled with 60 miles per hour, I need to put 60 is equal to the same distance D from Cleveland to Chicago and time is going to be equal to different, which is T sub 2 in this case. And average speed for the whole entire trip is going to be equal to total distance, which is going to be D, D plus D, that's 2D, divided by, divided by the total time, which is T1 plus T2, all right? So the question remains to find T1 and T2 in terms of D and then maybe somewhere I'll be able to cancel out the Ds, right? So let me replace this T1 and T2 by its equations here, D over T1. Replace T1 by D over AD. I can switch AD and T1 over here and same way, I'm going to replace T2 by D over 60. So, it remains us just to simplify this expression and see where it takes us to. So, I'm going to rewrite this as 2D divided by 1 and simple, uh, make the denominators equal here. That will be 60 plus 80D divided by 80, by 60, 80 times 60 which I can rewrite as 2D times 80 times 60 divided by 140 times D. After all cancellations, will be equal to 2 times 80 times 60 divided by 140. If you do all cancellations here, D will be equal to 68.6 miles per hour. That's the final answer. Now it's time for math with you. I'm going to give you our problem of the week and I need you to help us solve it in the comments. What is the value of x plus y for the system of equation given as 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power y plus 2 is equal to 12 and 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 2 to the power of y is equal to 17. Here is the answer to the question. This next question actually involves two very important concepts in middle school and high school mathematics. It's exponential expressions and system of equations. 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power of y plus 2 is equal to 12 and then 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 2 to the power of y is equal to 17. And I'll try to use the elimination method to get rid of either 2 to the power of x, of x or 2 to the power of y. Now, to do that, I noticed that I need to have same exponents for either of those expressions, right? So, uh, I would like to multiply both sides of this first equation by 2 
This will give me 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 2 times 2 to the power of y plus 2 is equal to 24. And I would like to rewrite the same equation, transfer it here. 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 2 to the power y is equal to 17, right? Now, I notice that these two expressions are the same and I can get rid of them by subtracting either side. So this will cancel out each other, remaining us 2 times 2 to the power of y plus 2 minus 2 to the power of y. Just notice that actually this expression is nothing but 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 times 2 will be equal to actually 8 times 2 to the power of y minus one of them is going to leave us 7 times 2 to the power of y will be equal to 24 minus 17 which is 7. Alright, we got rid of the expression 2 to the power x left with only 2 to the power y. If I divide each side by 7, right, then I'll get 2 to the power y is equal to 1 which is 2 to the power 0. Remember, any number to the power 0 is equal to 1. Since the bases are the same, this will give me y is equal to 0. Am I done? No. There's one more step. I need to go back and then solve this equation for x, substituting y is equal to 0. Then I replace this y equal to 0 in the, in the second equation. That will give me 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 2 to the power 0 is equal to 17. I'll try to solve it for x is 1, right? 17. Then 2 to the power of x plus 1 is going to be equal to 17 minus 1 which is 16 that I can write as 2 to the 4th power, right? Since bases are the same, that will give me x plus 1 is equal to 4 that yields x equals 3. So the question is asking me what x plus y is. x plus y will be then equal to 3 here plus y is equal to 0. The final answer is going to be equal to x plus y History. Thank you so much for joining us this season. Stay tuned for the release date of Math with Ihan Season 2, and be sure to check back for those special episodes. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check back every Friday for a new video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the meantime, check out our website and our social media.